All right, folks, we got page two here. We're going to do question 8-103. Uh, and this question, almost all of it is about pizza. We're going to talk about two different parts of the pizza. We're going to talk about the area of slices. And we're going to talk about the length of crust. Boy, I wonder if I wonder why. Perhaps that's because we're talking about circle area and circle circumference, and our friend the pizza is a circular shape. That's outstanding. Okay, let's move on. To celebrate their victory, the girls' ice hockey team went out for pizza. The goalie ate half of a pizza that had a diameter of twenty inches. Listen, I. I think this this young hockey player might want to consider cutting back on the carbs a little bit. I mean, half a pizza, diameter of 20 inches. Holy cow, we're going to see that's a lot of pizza here in just a second. Uh, we're asked to find the area of the pizza that she ate, uh, the length of the crust that she ate, uh, and it says leave your answers in exact form. So just really quick, what does this mean? Do not... Substitute pi equals 3.14. We're going to leave the pi symbol in our answer. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and sketch a circle here just to help us out. Okay, got a circle uh, here, and we're told that this pizza has a diameter of 20 inches. Uh, that means that the radius, the radius is 10 inches. Remember what I said, folks. It is really important that you pay attention to the difference between diameter and radius. Uh, I, I prefer to work in radi with the, the dimension of radius, so I always like to convert diameter to radius before I get started. Okay, yeah, dogs are really excited about this problem again. Uh, let's hope that they can contain themselves. All right, so um, let's go ahead and, and take a look at what, what uh, the damage that this girl did to the pizza, okay? So she ate half the pizza. I'm just gonna kinda sketch in the half that she ate. And we have to find that area. We are also asked to find the length of the crust that she ate. Okay, so let's take a look at how we're gonna do that. Let's take a look at area first. So the area of a circle is pi times radius squared. But she didn't eat the whole circle. She only ate half of it, okay? So she only ate half of it, and that's so that's gonna be one half times pi times that radius of 10 inches squared. Now let's see, I don't really think we need a calculator uh, to do this. 10 squared is 100, half of that is 50. So we have 50 pi square inches. Okay, remember we were asked to use, for, we were asked for exact form, so I'm gonna keep an exact form. Okay, I wanna take a quick look at, at how I, I calculated this. First, I hope you recognize that this portion right here, that's the formula for the area of a circle. But then this piece right here, that was the ratio. That's how much of the circle uh, the goalie ate. So she ate half of it, we did one half times the area. This is a strategy that we're gonna use throughout the rest of this page. And it ends up being the same strategy uh, when we look at crust length, except we're not gonna use the formula for area, we're gonna use the formula for circumference. So this right here represents circumference. And that's the ratio of how much of the pizza the goalie ate. So let's go ahead and plug in what we know. One half times two pi times the radius of 10 inches. I think we can do this one in our head as well. One half times two is one. Then we just have pi times 10. We'd write that as 10 pi inches. So I wanna make a quick comment here about exact answers versus approximate answers. So we have answers here of, of 50 pi square inches for the area and 10 pi inches for the crust length. Um, the, unfortunately, exact answers, they are exact, but they're sometimes not very helpful. Uh, and the reason for that is I don't have a good idea what 50 pi square inches looks like. Uh, so if we were to get an approximate answer there, I would multiply by 3.14 and that would give me 157 square inches. Now, I definitely understand what 157 square inches looks like. That's 157 Cheez-Its, okay? So that is a much more helpful representation of how much area of pizza that this goalie ate. Uh, same idea with crust length or the, the portion uh, of the circumference. If I multiply 10 by 3.14, 
I get 31.4 inches, so I, I kind of understand, hey, that's a lot of crust, eating 31.4 inches of crust, uh, that's gonna take a little while. Uh, so again, exact answers are nice because they are exact, but unfortunately, sometimes in, in practical applications, we need an approximate answer just so we have a better understanding of what that number means. Uh, what I'm gonna do for the rest of these problems is go through this same procedure uh, because we're gonna look at different scenarios where uh, we're asked to calculate uh, uh, an area of pizza that was consumed and a length of crust that was consumed. And, and I'm gonna bo do both. I'm gonna do the exact answer and the approximate just so that you can get a, a feel uh, for working with both of these. All right, so let's move on to part B. We're talking about Sonia. She chose a slice from another pizza that had a diameter of 16 inches. If her slice had a central angle of 45 degrees, what is the area of this slice? What is the length of its crust? So the pizza that Sonia's eating off of, not quite as big as the one that the goalie was eating off of. This has got a radius of eight inches. Let's go ahead and sketch that in. We also know that this piece that Sonia had, um, it, it, I'm gonna sketch it in here. It, it formed a central angle of 45 degrees. So we need to calculate the area of this slice and the length of crust of that slice. One thing that makes part B different from part A is we're not told the ratio of how much of the pizza that Sonia eats. We have to figure out that, that ratio on our own. And let's kind of go ahead and start here by looking at area. We know the area of the pizza is gonna be some ratio because she didn't eat the whole thing. Some ratio less than one times pi r squared. Well, let's see if we can figure out what that ratio is. We know that that central angle for her slice was 45 degrees. But that's 45 out of 360 degrees. So that ratio is 45 out of 360. And then I multiply by pi and times my radius of 8 inches squared. Some of you might recognize 45 out of 360. That's just 1 eighth. So I have 1 eighth times pi times 64. And 1 8 times 64 is 8, so my answer here is going to be 8 pi square inches. That's the exact answer. If I multiply 8 by 3.14, we get about 25.12. Check that. 25.12 square inches. So that's the area of Sonia's slice. Eh, a little bit more reasonable than uh, what the goalie did in the previous problem. Uh, now let's use the same approach for the length of crust. It's going to be a ratio times 2 pi r, the circumference. And again, let's go ahead and let's highlight what some of these things are. This is circumference. Back in the previous calculation, this was area. So I still have that 45 degrees out of 360 degrees. We know we already talked about that being 1 eighth times 2 times pi times the radius of 8 inches. Let's see, I have 1 eighth times 8. That's just 1, and I'm left with 2 pi. So this is going to be 2 pi inches for the length of crust. And if we multiply 2 pi, 2 by 3.14, we get about 6.28 inches. So we have both an exact and approximate answer to work with there. All right, let's move down to part C. Sonia noticed that there was only one slice left of that mega goalie pizza with a diameter of 20 inches. Reminder, that means the radius is 10 inches. The central angle was 72 degrees. What is the area of the remaining slice? What is the length of the crust? Okay, we can rip through this one because we've done this a couple times already. Okay, folks, 72 over 360. You might not recognize that um, unless you did that on a calculator. If you do that on a calculator, you're going to get 0 0.2. Okay, and I think 0 0.2 is a decimal that you should know what that is as a fraction. That's one-fifth. And I'll tell you, there's another way you could figure that out. If there's ever a, a ratio and you don't understand uh, what decimal that might be, 
Try flipping it around. If you did 360 divided by 72 on your calculator, you would know that it, you would see that it's five. That means 72 divided by 360 is one fifth. So that's just a little calculator trick for you if you're trying to figure out uh, a fraction equivalent of certain decimals or certain bigger fractions. Okay, uh, enough about that. So I have 100 squared, or excuse me, 10 squared, which is 100. I take one fifth of that or multiply by 0 0.2. That gives me 20. So I have an answer of 20 pi square inches for this 72 degree slice on the mega pizza. If I do 20 times 3.14, I get 62.8 square inches. So we have another calculation there for this slice that Sonia is interested in. Let's take a look at that length of crust. So I have the 72 over 360, which is the same as 1 fifth. If I multiply 1 fifth times 10, I get 2. And then I do 2 times 2 pi, that gives me 4 pi. And 4 times 3.14 is 12.56. So just over one foot in crust length. All right, uh, that's it for those application problems. Now let's kind of formalize this down here uh, with some new definitions. Part D, a portion of a circle like the crust of a slice of pizza is called an arc. So this portion of the circle right here is called an arc. The length of an arc is a part of the circumference. So that's the ratio that we've been multiplying by to get the, the portion of the length. Okay, so if a circle has a radius of six, find the length of the arc with a central angle of 30 degrees. So central angle is this guy right here. It's this angle measure right here, and we've been dividing that by 360 to get that ratio. So again, I want to formalize that for you. So the length of an arc is going to be some ratio out of 360 times circumference 2 pi r. This would be the central angle divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi r. So there's our formula. And again, just to review, that's the ratio of how much of the circle we have. And that's the circumference. So for this specific example, we have a radius of six centimeters and we have that central angle of 30 degrees. So that arc length will be 30 divided by 360 times two pi times six centimeters. Let's see if we can do this one in our head. Let's see, 30 divided by 30, 360, that's the same as three divided by 36. Well, I know 12 times three is 36, so this is equivalent to 1 12th. And I know that's tricky. I know not, of you, not, not all of you would be able, to be able to do that without perhaps the help of a calculator. Uh, and then I have two times six. Well, that's 12. 1 12th times 12 is one, and I'm left with just plain old pi. So this is pi centimeters for that proportion of the circumference, which is about 3.14 centimeters. Let's do the last uh, example here where we're gonna kind of formalize uh, what we talked about with the area, and we have a new definition. It's called a sector. Sector is formed by two radii of a circle and the arc between the endpoints of those radii. So if a circle has a radius of 10 feet and find the area of a sector with a central angle of 20 degrees. Well, this is gonna be like the formula we've done before. The area is going to be equal to some ratio times pi r squared. And that ratio is gonna be the central angle divided by 360 degrees times pi r squared. So let's take a look at uh, this specific example. We have a central angle of 20 degrees divided by 360 times pi times 10, what is it, feet? So let's see what this looks like. Well, I'm, I'm gonna do a, a little bit of mental math here again. Again, I know that that's not everybody's strong suit, but if I look at 
20 divided by 360, that's the same as 2 divided by 36. That's the same as 1 divided by 18. So if I have 1 divided by 18, and I multiply by pi times 10 squared, that's going to give me 100 pi over 18. Now I can reduce that because both 100 and 18 are even numbers. So this is going to be reduced to 50 pi over 9. And that's going to be square feet. Now, if I were to multiply 50 divided by 9 times 3.14, I would get 17.44 square feet. That's the area of that sector. All right, folks, uh, wanna, uh, we're, we're done here with the notes, but I want to highlight a couple things real quick. Uh, this right here, that's a formula. This guy right here, it's also a formula. Those are ones I think you need to know. But I don't think they're that hard to memorize because they really are just a ratio, central angle divided by 360, times either the circumference formula if we're looking at arc length or the area formula if we're looking at sector area. Okay, folks, that's it. Uh, kind of a long one here. I hope you're able to stay with me. Good luck on the review preview.